Hello everyone, I'm Pot Roast Mom. Welcome to my channel. This is Fawcett. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to my living room and my home where I live and play, but no work happens here. Um, today I wanted to read my cats, some of the comments that people leave about them. Um, some of the funniest people that God invented are in my comment section. And I just wanted to share it with you. Most of the comments are from um, our Instagram and TikTok accounts. Also, I'm having a really hard time getting getting them up here. Come here, ding dong. Coupons parked under the uh, tripod, which feels typical. So I guess since Fawcett's the only one I can tempt up here right now, we'll start with Fawcett. Um, some important background knowledge is that um, she used to be really ugly. And that's why I adopted her. No, I adopted her because I loved her um, when I was fostering her. But I did low-key count on her being ugly forever. That did not work out for me, which is fine. <laughs> Anyways. And Fawcett, just so you know, I would literally never laugh at you. Never in a million years. Not for a million dollars. But also, um, some of these I'm going to laugh at a little bit. Meg on TikTok said, Fawcett is my favorite because she became conventionally attractive, but never intelligent. And I wouldn't say that about you. I just, you know, I would never say that about you. But I did laugh when someone else said it. <laughs> okay, so Carrot was my cat. Um, she was the first cat I ever got. And she got her when I was like 17 and she passed away in 2020. Um... I believe she got hit by a car, but I believe um, she had FIV and she gave it to Pot Roast and that's why Pot Roast died. Um, if you're not familiar with the lore, we're already in so deep. Maybe pause and go to another video. I don't know. Anyways, this one says, God, I need to make this bigger. My eyes are going bad for the first time in my life. And if you think I can afford vision insurance, you've lost it completely. Carrot started an MLM from beyond that Fawcett unfortunately fell victim to. Fawcett is, Fawcett is the ultimate MLM target. She is gorgeous, stunning, not one single brain cell. Um, the MLM girlies would love her. One time I was fostering another litter of kittens. This was in 2020, they were gray kittens and um, this woman adopted one. The cat, the kitten's name was Tilapia. I named it Tilapia. I was fostering the kitten. The woman changed her name to Stardust. And then like a few weeks later, she sent me one of those like, hey girly, shampoo MLM texts. And I was like, hey girly, we don't have that kind of relationship, but go off queen. So this is on a video where I called coupon the Rolls Royce of idiots because coupon is tragically gorgeous and stunning. Um, and... <laughs> Hallie on TikTok commented underneath that video, Fawcett is giving Honda a cord pulled from a lake. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. Just so you know, I was laughing at something else. Right under that comment, Yvette said, Fawcett has Subaru energy. Yeah, but like deeply haunted Subaru energy. Subaru that has seen some things. <laughs> This, um, this was from Chelsea on TikTok. She was talking about Fawcett and Coupon. The vibes these two give off are immaculate, like what it's like sleeping on really expensive hotel bedding. I completely agree with that. I love hotel bedding and the pillows are never right. Like the pillows are always too soft for me and that just tracks with the two of them, you know? Um, it just makes so much sense. Are you my little Honda cord pulled from a lake? Ashton on TikTok said, Coupon was born post-COVID and you could tell. Um, yes. Yes, they are definitely pandemic babies. They were both born in 2002, ultimately. This one was on a video of me. I was wearing, I'll show a picture of it. <laughs> I was wearing a, my plaid shirt from Walmart and a hat. And it says, Skyla Rose on TikTok said, you look like you're in Charlie Swan cosplay in the best way possible. I love you so much, Power Smell. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of one time in, um, I want to say it was like 2018. I went to a wedding and I wore this like really crazy outfit. 
um, it was like a floor length, uh, floral dress. And it wasn't even mine. It was my friend Grace's because I didn't like my outfit when I got to, the wedding was in Tulsa, if that tells you anything. Um, but it didn't have like sleeves. It, it was like this up top, but it was like fall. So I wore one of those jean jackets that had, um, like when it has Sherpa on the inside of it. And my friend Caitlin said, I looked like I got lost in the woods in 1984. <laughs> She's so real for that, you know? Bookworm025 said, I'm obsessed with this photo. You can see the intelligent malice in Coupon's eyes where there's nothing but a paperclip in chaos in faucets. <laughs> um, I always say that they have one beige brain cell between them, but Foss Coupon has never let Faucet have it. As you can tell. <laughs> I love that you go for the string instead of the toy. That's, I mean, you're a renegade. You're on to something. I just love what you're doing in general. My little Subaru baby. I've deposited the soup. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> do you, now that she's up here, do you see the intelligent malice in her eyes versus the, um, Paper clipping chaos in Fawcett's eyes. There are so many good comments. I could not screenshot all of them. So if you want me to do a part two, just hit me up. Let me know. D debatably. Oh, this wasn't a comment. It was an Instagram DM. And this person said, I have been following you on TikTok since the very beginning and I still have not caught up on the names. My brain calls them <laughs> face. <laughs> The one that screams. <laughs> and Rocco, I am crumbling. The funniest part of that to me is the and Rocco. Like, yeah, that's reasonable to remember. His name is Rocco. I love how you guys go for the string. I think that's so punk rock. Do you remember the toy or? Okay. Bad Bunny Baby on TikTok said, I can't believe the way I memorized your cat's name was someone commented, Coop face on a post. I don't laugh about the comments where they say you have a his face, just so you know. I would literally never do that. This is Courtney on TikTok. I think I can't really read the screen name. It's in those one of them one of them funky fonts. Um I saw another cat on here and told my husband that looks like faced soup. I know I said I wouldn't laugh at those comments, but it's very hard not to laugh at that. It's difficult. It's very hard for thing for ladies like me. No. Taylor Marie on Instagram commented on the video of Soup faking a limp and said, "Girl boss, a little too close to the sun there, Soup." Amen. Soup, you should write that down in your notebook of schemes. Like, cross it off so you know not to do it again later. Every single time I turn her on and she doesn't work right, I'm like, oh, I have to check her batteries. And I never, ever check her batteries. Isn't that right? Yeah. She knows. She lives it. Um, but she keeps, like, getting stuck. She's a for real friend, so they're supposed to, like, in the commercial from 2008 that I watched... Um, they're supposed to like respond to t your touch and your voice, but I mean, I mean, Rocco was born in 2005. He's not responding to touch or voice, touch your voice. Anyways, what is that grinding noise? Do you need some like WD-40? Okay, fine. I guess I'll get some. Whatever. Bot roast is... Becky on TikTok said, Bot Roast is giving Weekend at Bernie's. Have you ever seen Weekend at Bernie's? Do not cite the deep magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. Re on TikTok said, Bot Roast comedic timing is something comedians strive for their whole lives. Um, that's so true. And to be fair, Bot Roast has had millennia, ultimately, to um, perfect her comedic timing. Whatever... Um, Whatever the uh, 
I was going to call it a flesh sack, but it's not flesh. It's plastic, synthetic. I don't know. Um, whatever she's living in now is just a stop along the way. She's obviously an ancient spirit. Uh, well, one, this is a doll accessory from Walmart. Their doll accessories, yeah, do fit Bot Roast, um, which was one of the greatest discoveries of the um, 21st century. It really was. And I ain't joking you. Thank you, Bot Roast, for the confirmation. Crookling on YouTube says, Rocco's sitting on you like he's on a bar stool about to order a strawberry daiquiri. That, oh my God, I laughed so hard at that because that's exactly what he looks like when he sits on me. Um, I The best ones I screenshotted were about Rocco. I can't believe he won't come in here. I've awoken the king from his nap. Rocco, I just want to read. Well, now it seems really mean that I woke him up from his nap just to read mean comments to him, but... Um, this is me cosplaying as a family YouTuber using their kids for content unabashedly, unashamed, terrible. Kareem's BFF on Instagram said, why is Rocco so limp? We will never know the answer to that. Rocco's eyes can only be described as the windows on Victorian children's graves so they wouldn't get scared of the dark six feet under. Oh, it's the, um, it's just the trash guys. Be calm, be cool, Rocco. Um, Rocco has the look of a dad. <laughs> Rocco has the look of a dad whose wife is on vacation for the first time and he has to take care of his children 24-7. Augustina Garcia Bran on um, TikTok said that. That reminds me of a comment like a long time ago on a video of Rocco and Fawcett that somebody commented, I didn't screenshot of it. Somebody commented, um, Rocco looks deeply haunted by the knowledge that he cannot escape Fawcett. Rocco is my emotional support Republican. Oh my God. Sako strikes me as the type, oh God, this is, this is like, this is so good. Chelsea on TikTok said, Sako strikes me as the type who would always resent his stepmom for making better gravy than his bio mom. You would do that, wouldn't you? Remember how I said he, he sits on me like a bar stool? Now he's using my, um, my belly, my fupa, if you will, as a bar stool. I actually love that for you, Rocco. I think that is gorgeous and stunning. Rocco walks. I'm not laughing at you, Rocco. I would never do that. Rocco walks like a revolutionary war ghost. <laughs> he does. He does. Arlo on TikTok said, Rocco would definitely sit and angrily fold his newspaper if he had thumbs. I can't and won't explain further. And you don't have to. And you don't have to, because that actually makes perfect sense. So I posted on Instagram this picture of Rocco, and I the caption was, if Rocco was the protagonist in a young adult dystopian novel, what would the title of the book be? There were some very good answers. Um, a Court of Cataracts and Kidney Issues. Yeah. Can we just, for a moment, um, A Court of Soup and Sauces? Yeah. Because even in a book about Rocco, they would need the most attention they would need to be the main characters as well kind of a three main character situation um also can we talk about the absolute chokehold that the title format a court of blank and blank has on the fantasy romance and fantasy young adult novel markets or genre um it's bananas and that's obviously because a court of thorns and roses had such insane success but We need to move away from it. This says, this says, the hungry for anything but prescription kidney food games. Yeah, yeah, do be like that. This one, oh my God, this made me laugh so hard because it's like, I never noticed this, but it's so true in every single video. 
Darcy on TikTok said, Rocco's never particularly looking at anything, just air. Which, like, look right now, like, what is he looking at? Absolutely nothing. Can his eyes even focus? We have no way of knowing that. Do you hear your name? Are you so sweet? I love your cats so much. They all look like they're either going to or already committed tax fraud. That's no joke. That's very serious. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea which cat is which, and I never will. Um, you might not need to know, you know? Soup, coupon, sauce, faucet, Sacco Rocco. Uh, that's me aligning your chakras. Soup, you're going to have to get your own chakras in line. I'm not touching that. I'm not doing that. I don't have it in me. Okay, I think that definitely people leave the best comments about Rocco. Those were my favorite ones. Tell me in the comments what your favorite ones were. Um, thank you for being here. I enjoyed being here with you. Leave funny comments in the comments. We all need a good laugh. Let's giggle together, okay? Literally love you so much I could fall over and die. See you next week. Bye.